guys welcome back to another episode of city skylines so last episode we worked on moving our farming district and it looks really productive um we'll see how this is oh we've got a bunch of stuff coming in um we got uh some things are they going to back up nope and we're shipping some stuff out too uh what do we got here looks like regular cargo uh, probably farming cargo and that's going to the airport so over here uh, we can actually follow that should be coming up any minute now there it is just see what's uh, going on here so these guys are Delivering animal products to bakery cargo train station So I'm not sure where they're going from there Where's the bakery bakery? Oh bakery. Yeah, the bakery's across here, isn't it? No Couldn't be Thought we put it somewhere else uh, da, da, da. Printing press I honestly don't know where I put the bakery. <laughs> um, where did I put it? I think it was right across the street, wasn't it? Bakeries. I thought it was over here. Bakery. Yeah, it's right here. So why would they? Why would they take the train when they could have just gone out and come across? That makes no sense. It would have been easier if they were just to go that way, but I don't know. Maybe they just see the route as more efficient to come out here. It's weird. I, I gave up trying to understand this game and the mechanics because everything is just crazy. I mean, look at these guys. They're, like, all stopped because these guys are coming out. It's starting to cause a traffic jam. Let's just make sure that this is set up properly. But they're not told to stop. No, they're not. They're just deciding to stop. Because that's fun too. And now they will go because there's no traffic. <laughs> and that's why I have a stop sign over here because then it at least limits the amount of traffic that I can back up. Uh, we could even do a stop sign here. Hopefully that will help too. And we could maybe remove that stop sign. And that will at least give them some time to keep going. But. Yeah, I don't know. I It's just one of those games.
Okay, so we got um, the road networks set up. I just need to figure out what I'm going to be doing in some of these areas. So I was thinking a financial district over on this stretch. And then we could put maybe like, um, I don't know. Uh, we got that major fire station here, right? So we could do wall-to-wall -wall, um, housing, maybe. Maybe mix that in with some, um, what do you call it, some, oh, I think there's wall-to-wall -wall office buildings as well. Though it doesn't look like we have a high demand for it. Yeah, we have, uh, oh, hold on a second, we have financial district, which is uh, office as well, so we'll probably want that one. And let's see here. Maybe we could go with tourism for commercial. I'm not sure how that's going to turn out. And wall to wall. Um, what do you call it? Um, Residential. We'll see how that turns out. I'm not sure how it's going to work, but um, we need to get a stretch of uh, uh, financial set up to here. So we'll go ahead and just set uh, a few of these buildings like so. And hopefully they'll be developed where they'll um, connect up power with that. There's only like four, so maybe we can rezone. Well, well, we'll start with that and we'll see how that turns out. And then for tourism, I figure what we'll do is we'll do this line right down here. And then for residential, what we can do is we can fill that in, I guess, at the back here. And we'll even go as far as this, I think. Okay, we'll see how that turns out. Um, not sure how it's going to turn out for design. We'll see what comes up. Uh, the financial part should go pretty tall, but so should the, um, the uh, tourism. So... We'll see how the, the landscape gets kind of altered from that.
So what I worked on was just getting the rest of the building set up and I put a couple post offices in, uh, some small banks so they can handle the um, uh, tourism industry. So if we go into the police, uh, you can see the these areas are all covered for that. Uh, down here we don't actually have all those set up. Uh, we could probably put a couple of these small banks in. Uh, I don't know if these ones, yeah, these ones can probably cover the entire area. I don't know if there's any benefit. So 400 per week compared to 129. Yeah, honestly, we don't really need that huge amount. I don't think for that in, er, entire area. So we could probably go with, um, so that's about 200, right? So... It's still a little bit cheaper if we do two sections, tell you the truth. So, probably fit a couple in. We'll see if we can't put one. Yeah, I'm not sure if we'll be able to fit it in anywhere in here. Okay, we have all that um, roads and stuff. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think that's residential. Um, yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to fit that in. We might need to go with a 400, I think. If we put it right here, we should be able to cover everything. It's right on the main line, though, that's no problem. Okay, and then over here we got a few commercial buildings. We might be able to fit one in somewhere around here. If we do again in the center, we might be able to ca cover most of them. Oh, you know what? We can't do that because that's a um, pedestrian way. That's right. So we can put some over here, though. That should cover most of them, I think. Oh, hold on a second. That's only just a small area, but it says it has wider range. I don't know if that's intended or not. Um, yeah, we'll leave it for that and we'll see how that turns out, I think. And then there's some more up here that we could probably fit in.
we got quite a bit of stuff done today. I ended up hooking up a subway system from here to, let's see if I can find it. So it goes all the way down to here and connects up to this line. So everyone in this district has direct access now. I'm not sure if there will be a garbage demand or not. That might be a problem uh, later on if we have to figure out, um, if we have to deal with garbage collection for the subway system. But um, I'm hoping that it won't be too much of an issue um, and that it will just go get counted and go directly to the garbage pickup facilities. So I'm hoping that's the case. Uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. And what else did we do? We got um, a connection from the airport all the way down to that connection point over here as well. So then people can transfer over to the other subway system and go directly to our other districts. So that's kind of a rehub point where they can go between different locations and stuff like that. Um, other than that, uh, we worked on this area and we got this all built. Uh, there was one little fire, but it wasn't too anything too huge. Uh, the density for the skyscrapers seems to be pretty good uh, for what we have here. It doesn't look too concentrated not compared to like some of the other buildings that we have around the place. Um, that's pretty much as high as that they will get. So I don't think it will be too big of an issue, but uh, we'll keep an eye on it. We might need to put a high um, or a low rise or high rise ban on the area. I kind of got lost. Where are we over here? All right. So yeah, we might need to put a high rise ban uh, depending on how it turns out. But some of these are already maxed out to the highest point. So I think it should be fine. I don't think we'll get much higher on most of these. So outside of that, uh, we got, um, I, I've, I've focused in on getting some stock um, sold and stuff like that. So purchased and sold stock. So we're back up to 10,000. And uh, yeah, outside of that, we got quite a bit of stuff done today and I'm pretty impressed. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Thank you.